All right, so like Monster fans, here's kind of an 80s favorite. Electric Dreams. Check it out. She's listening to English language. Miles feels he needs a home computer to help organize his daily life. So he buys the computer and he hooks up all of his appliances and everything in his house to it. And then he meets his new neighbor, Madeline, Virginia Madsen. Suddenly, his scooter starts to go nuts. But the computer's okay. And later on, it starts mimicking the music it hears coming from Madeline's cello. Oh, I wanted to tell you how much I enjoyed your music yesterday. Music? I wasn't even at the. What did it sound like? Did you say? Anyway, Miles attends one of Madeline's concerts, and he has some sort of beeper that is connected to his computer at home, who's hearing all of this. And the computer beeps him on his pager. But he's dismayed to find out that she may have a boyfriend, Maxwell Caulfield. It's become sentient. Who said that? I. Who's in this room? I. She. Who? She. That music. Madeline. She's upstairs. How does he know she's a she? Miles I wants the computer to write a song. She. I. Okay. Look at it. What is it? A song? It's, um, uh, it's music with words. No. This is the result. But he does better later. Later on, an accident occurs to Madeline's prized cello. The computer is falling in love with Madeline, and these two aren't getting along anymore. I'm eating out tonight. Listen to me, Madeline. What made that cello special was you. Nothing else. Whatever came out of it, you put into it. Every sound, every scratch. Well, the computer is now sabotaging everything in Miles' life, including his credit cards. Saying he's overdrawn, he's armed and dangerous. His checks won't work. Remember checks? Mr. Foley, check your proof of number seven, please. Miles has had enough. You don't understand. It's taken control of my house. It's gotten to the wiring. Maybe you need an exterminator. As she tries to get back home, Madeline stops over and finds the wreckage. There's still some life left in it. Why would you do that? Because that's what love is. You've never asked me. My name is Edgar. Edgar. Hey, what was it? Edgar. 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 Ed
But Edgar comes back. All right, let's talk about Electric Dreams. I think I taped this movie off of cable back in 1985, maybe? Yeah, probably 1985. I think I had it on a Memorex tape, but I can't remember. But anyway, um, it's a movie that has never been released on DVD in this country, anyway. It has been released on a legitimate PAL DVD uh, from MGM in Europe. And apparently it's been released on Blu-ray there as well. I don't know why it hasn't had a U.S. release. Because this is a, a, a kind of a well-known film, and it's a, kind of a cult film now. People really like this one. Um, it stars a guy named Lan Lanny, Van, Lanny Von Dolan. He plays Miles. He's this kind of like nerdy guy. Lives in San Francisco, and uh, he has this new neighbor moving in who plays a cello. Uh, Virginia Madsen plays uh, Madeline. I always had a thing for Virginia Madsen. And she's uh, just adorable in this movie, too. But anyway, so uh, there's... Uh, there's an attraction there, a mutual attraction. She plays in the local orchestra or whatever it is. And uh, there's also a guy there um, who kind of likes her too. Maxwell Caulfield is the actor, by the way. Um, so anyway, he's a little disorganized, is Miles. So he decides to get a home computer to help uh, plan his day and, you know, keep track of things, that sort of thing. Well, an accident occurs at the house and somehow the computer becomes sentient. And uh, it gets a voice and that voice is uh bud court uh, from harold and maude and uh eventually he takes a name his name is edgar we don't find that out to the very end though but edgar starts to interact with miles and then he hears um madison playing the cello uh you know from down the hall or upstairs wherever she is and he starts to mimic things and uh next thing you know the computer starts falling in love with Madeline as well, just at the same time Miles is. You know, they've gone out a few times dating, and so there's kind of a love triangle, like the box says, or at the back of the box says, between uh, man, woman, and computer. Um, the computer wants to learn things, you know, what is love, this and that. The computer tries to write music, too, writes this funny song about wanting to see tits, which uh, was entertaining. Um, ultimately, uh, the computer starts to screw with... Uh, Miles' life because he's jealous of Miles because Maddie's falling for Miles. So he finds a way to shut down all his credit cards and declare him armed and dangerous. Uh, when Miles finds out about this, he decides to wreck the computer and try to short it out, um, which he does. Now at one point, Madeline comes over to the apartment, sees the computer as a mess, but there's still a little life in it. And uh, uh, she interacts with Edgar a little bit. And then uh, ultimately, Edgar like dies. Uh, after he and Miles kind of make up, uh, the computer dies. Anyway, the movie ends with uh, Miles and Madison uh, going off on a trip somewhere, and they turn on the radio, and then suddenly the voice of Edgar pops in and says, this is for the ones I love, and he plays this song, uh, Together in Electric Dreams, which I think it was one of the guys from the Human League who actually wrote the song and sang it. It's a really cool song, actually. I actually have it on my Apple Music. So anyway, that is Electric Dreams. So anyway, it's a fun little film. I, I have always enjoyed this movie. I don't know why it doesn't even have more recognition. It's just kind of a, a sweet little comedy, and it's pretty cool. I don't know what else to say, but I'm sure, like I said, it's become somewhat of a cult film. I don't know why it's not released on DVD in this country. Maybe it's because of music rights. But I'm looking at this DVD here that MGM put out. I mean, this is a legitimate DVD. A lot of the DVDs that are come out in Europe that are just, uh, you know, movies that aren't available in this country are, are basically VHS rips. This one's not. This one's a very good picture, and everything's nice about it. So it's a quality DVD. I'm glad I have it. So it is available, like I said, on the PAL DVD. You can track these down. I know there are bootleggers out there selling uh, DVDs of this as well. So it's it's out there. I also have a pre-recorded VHS of this, which apparently is extremely rare as well. So glad I have that. But anyway, that is Electric Dreams. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. Let me know what you think about it and leave some comments. Watch it. Bye.